these creatures are, where they came from, and what they plan to do on Earth. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to this Let's Play Terra Invicta Research the Outpost Mining Complex. Yes, we definitely want to do that. Now, I've already got a space thingy down at hide. There we go. Let's let time advance. And if you remember from last time, I sort of have a short term goal of getting our control points manageable so we're not costing so much influence. We can get more influence as a resource to do more influential things. And to get a lot more stuff in space. I want um, more Red Alert. It's a Red Alert reference from everyone's favourite actor in Red Alert. Is time even on? I thought I could... Oh, it's just this slow. There we go. We'll stick up to that. Um, really, really, Tim Curry. Um, <laughs> space reference. Uh, got my mind distracted. Really, really want lots of space stuff. I want space mining operations. I want space ships for pew pews and mining too if that's a thing i imagine so with asteroids being a thing um yeah i just want lots and lots of space stuff um which is why we've got america under control at the moment because they offered us the most boosters and they were hard to get and then we're gonna go canada too because they're right beside each other i thought oh well that'll make it easy to protect though we do look like we are losing some of our opinion in America, because we did have up to 50 or something, didn't we? We had like nearly 60, so we're going to need to start working on our influence in America again, because that's going down. We can't have that. We cannot have that. No, 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 no. What is this? Oh, we got four unknown agents here. Oh, hello. What are four unknown agents doing in America? We're going to need to see if we can do something about that. Counselors, I should use the right word. You know, back to Earth. I'll look back. Yeah, I went the wrong way. America. Let's see here. 17 experience. We needed 20, didn't we, to get much stuff, didn't we? Yes, we did. 20 experience. This augment you. Who are you again? You are one of our persuasion people. So let's go. Oh, that only cost you 16. Confirm. That'll give us a wee bit more control. As for you, you've got 25. Let's give you another persuasion. Confirm. And we'll just take a look at you. You've got 12 experience. As for you, you've got 7. That helps us out a wee bit. Give us two more maximum control points. We need more though. I think each one of those research, if memory serves. Oh, we got assignments time. I want to check the research first of all, though. Each one of these management research gives us five. Yeah, five. So we still need quite a bit more. Still need a lot more. But maybe we can get another counselor and that will help us out. But to do that, right. First of all, we got you. Or bet there's no aliens to investigate. I'm gonna get you to advise America. Offering counsel. Standing by. And you. Gonna come back to America and increase our popularity here. I will try to sway the public. You. Acknowledged. I'm gonna come back to America. Try and we'll increase make our popularity our here. You. At your service. Where's the detain counselor? Protect target. Come protect, not target. Let's go to ground. This one, survey location, stabilize nation, advise, set national policy. I think this is the one. Wait, no. Nope. Purge, crackdown, control nation. We've already got control. Got these ones here. Go to ground. Protect target. Apply my tribute to protect target council or region or hab against physical attack or other operations. Yeah, from dying. Yeah, just come here and protect target. Defending and then the VIP. 
Let me Standing see by for orders. That's for you. You're gonna advise the space station. I will help them. Yes, you will. Confirm our assignments. Prepping for mission. We may start investigating those four. Oh, are they gone? Have I lost control of them? Where are they gone? Have they gone? Am I no longer aware of them? Yeah, it looks like they've gone. Let time advance. Good. They're gone. Lending my expertise. Good. Now we need more space resources. Keep them safe. Right, let's take a look at our space station here. Lending my expertise. Alright, pause. Prepping for next mission. No, I don't want to see you. I want to see the station. Controller is about 15 seconds I think I need to minutes. look at tabs to see it. There we go. This built in here. That ships. That's not what I want. I want tabs. There we go. If we go to our, where is it? There it is. Our space station here. So we can see we've already got, what is it? We've already got the science lab, the solar collector, and that. And we're not building anything here at the moment. I would very much like to buy. The space dock. But we do not have the resources for that. What do I need to save up again? 18.6 booster. We're getting there. We're getting plus 8, 0 0.8 booster all the time. So yeah, we need that. So we're saving up for that to build that on Earth. Right, let's go to our base here. Is it still building? Where is it? There, that's it. There, we've got nothing built. Though we probably should build a solar collector at some point. It's going to take a lot of booster. Yeah, no, nope, we're saving up for the dock. I want the dock. And we want to be able to research mining. We'll be ready for new orders soon. What is actually my current missions? Research the mining outpost complex. Where did I see them again? This we'll is... be ready for new orders soon. Nope, it's not that. Cleaning things up. Do, 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 do. There is a way to view your mission somewhere. Is this it here? There we go. Tutorial objectives assigned to defend interest mission. Aren't we just doing that? Build a mine at your base. We need to research that. Campaign objectives. Investigate return abductees. Research alien origins. Salvage alien technology. General objectives. Control Earth's nations. We're doing that. Industrialized space. That's what I really want to do. Build your council. They're sort of general objectives that you're always going to have, I'm guessing. And salvage alien technology. They're the campaign missions at the moment, and these are the tutorial ones. Okay. Look back at America. Right, so we've got the money. Do we have the influence? United States of America. I have forgotten. How to invest? Oh wait. Canada. We have the money and influence to invest in Canada. Which now has a tiny bit of boost now because they didn't have any until we did that. Um, everything's going up in Canada which is good. I could invest in them more or we can take a look at America. Direct investment. We could... Right, the research is struggling in their economy. If I put some investment into their economy, and some investment into their knowledge, we don't have enough. Right, we'll just do that for now. We'll invest a wee bit in their economy. A nation's priorities determine how it will develop over time. As we gain control points in a nation... Yep, yep, yep. So we can see where their priorities lie. Public sentiment is increasingly with us. Nice work. America, we're back up to 41%. Public opinion is moving in our direction. Brilliant. We're even higher here now. 
45. Good. Bigger slice of the pie. Bigger slice of their funding and research pie. And we're getting close. It was 16.8, I think we needed. We've got 15 now. I want that space dock. I want to build a space pew pew. I want it so bad. And we need to start mining to get some of these resources so we can start building stuff in space so we can take some of the burden off our booster income. And we can then build more stuff in space faster because we'll have the booster to build it on Earth and send it up and we'll have the resources in space to build too. Which is going to be the future. I'm guessing, obviously, well, obviously we know it first. It's all about the boosters, how fast your space gets built and progresses. But I'm guessing in the future, your booster's not going to do much. It's going to be all about what we've actually got up there. And that's the way it looks like it's going to go in real life in the future. Because obviously, it's very expensive to get stuff up into space. But if you can build stuff on the moon so much cheaper to then get it to go places if you use the resources you find on the moon like uh, uh, in uh, what was it in that Anno game you had that special type of water or something that was up there heavy I think you get heavy water on earth but there was like a load of it up there on the moon I don't know if it was heavy water or if it was some other uh, Substance. I just remember building the special power generators up there in the Anno game and sending it back to Earth. Um, which was really weird, but this is going the other way. Instead of using the stuff you build on the moon and sending it out because it's cheaper, it's a lot easier to get stuff off of the moon than it is off of Earth because gravity on the Earth is quite high. Same with asteroids. If you can take asteroids and get the metals and stuff you need and then build stuff in space, you just need the metals. You don't need tons and tons of energy again into space and stuff. You don't need to build a second thing just to get it into space. Ye. Very simple concept. And speed up things even more. Because nothing really happened. We've got three people here now. Can they bog off? I don't know what they're doing, but I do not like them. Leave my America alone. I think they're probably... Yeah, we're down to 33. They're boosting their popularity in America. That's what they're doing. That's what at least two of them are doing because it's undoing the work I'm doing to boost my popularity. So we need to see if we can get rid of them. So. Let's get you. We've got plenty of influence still. Let's uh, advise America again with you. Because there's no aliens to investigate. Offering assistance. Reporting you. in. I'm gonna keep increasing our popularity. I will tell our story. You. Where do you need me? Keep. Go on a popularity campaign to counter we must theirs. Persuade the people. I and actually, you know what? We can probably tell who it is. It is probably green or purple. Oh, purple! No, the purple are the aliens themselves. It's probably green. Unless it's an alien-controlled person. Right, as for you. Go to ground, protect, let's investigate. 96% chance of this one. Investigate who they the are and what they're doing. Where do you need me? You are just going to do nothing. That's everyone else got something. Confirm, affirmative. Right. Offering support. Continue. No, good work, good work. We're getting up there in the booster, which is good. I want that space dock. I want it. Right, we're still doing really good here. Let's put another direct investment. Tracking field. 96! Oh, come on! Let's... Not a good turn. Public sentiment is increasingly that with us. That was not a good turn. Project complete. Alien origin. We have completed the alien origin project. Now this is quite interesting. There are multiple 
multitude of theories about where these aliens hail from. Running the gam gamut? From a plausible to absurd, maddening. I'm, yeah, I'm getting tongue tied now. Our further study of alien debris cannot quite be said to rule anything out. Judging from the isotope ratios of lead and some other elements, most of it seems to originate from our solar system, or far less likely, a solar system identical age to ours. Well, small amounts do not seem to be of local origin and some entirely unknown to us. Thus, though our visitors have an industrial scale presence within Sol orbit, they almost certainly did not begin here. Yeah, I was gonna say that's what would make sense to me, is what I was talking about earlier on, how it's cheaper for us to, well, in the future, hopefully it's gonna be cheaper for us to build our spaceships and stuff on the moon and then send them away on their origin there. I'd imagine once you go to the scale of getting to another solar system, that is gonna be like, a lot expanded the cost a lot could you imagine like even with if technology gets slightly better and it takes us 500 years to send um this is just the number i'm pulling at my ass by the way just in case anyone's wondering it takes us 500 years to send a ship to a solar nearby solar system the closest one um the costs and the weight and all that of actually just sending some there, like there's, we're not going to be able to supply that. We're going to have to, if we did do something like that, to try and spread humanity, spend 500 years spending a little colony or something to another solar system, um, we'd want it to build, uh, be fully self-sufficient so it can build everything it needs there. So it would make a lot of sense that if the aliens have done something like that, they've sent a colony here, They've sent it with everything it needs, like say 3D printers and all that, so that they can just get the raw resources from our solar system, put them into their printers and print them out more ships or whatever manufacturing needs they have, that sort of thing. So that makes a lot of sense to me. So they're from another solar system and as far as I'm concerned, it's 99.9999% chance that they're from another solar system, but using the resources within our solar system. Because as it said there, but from the aging, the lead, their solar system would have to be identical to ours if they were building stuff there and sending it over, which doesn't make sense. This all makes sense to me. And then they're saying there's a few odd bits and bobs that are just really rare, but in their ships that are from not. So that could be, yeah, that that's the stuff they brought with them. Maybe um, they have some resources, like some food. And they were like, oh, we don't need to get, we still got some food from when we came here, we'll put that on that ship. And that's the rare stuff they're finding that is aged differently because it's from a different solar system. So that makes sense to me. Right, objective complete. We have completed the alien origin objective. We now have sufficiently extended our abilities to watch and gather intelligence on further researches of our solar system. And in the process, we have discovered a number of alien HABs. Artificial habitats in the Kip... Kip... Uh, I'm not going to try and pronounce it. I'm getting tongue-tied over everything today. It seems our visitors have been here for some time. Observation of the alien halves, along with re-examination of older telescope Im imagery have taken... taken before the alien arrived on Earth have provided a much clearer picture of local alien operations. At some point in the last several years, the aliens built their halves and have launched that ship that crashed on Earth. Given that A, it seems impossible that a complex alien life could have evolved in that frozen outer reaches of our solar system, and B, the alien ships appear to be partially constructed from material of exostolar origin, which is what we, I was just talking about there. We believe that the aliens arrived here from another star system. Well, I was saying that that's 99.9999% chance from what they were telling me earlier. We have three leading theories as to how they could have accomplished this. One, they travelled to our solar system via slower than light interstellar spacecraft. Such a craft would in all probability be very large. It would require huge quantities of energy for propulsion and life support, and might well have taken generations to make the journey. What I was talking about earlier, about 500 years, um, which was a number I put out my ass. I have no idea if it would be faster or slower than that to get to the closest one. We have thus far seen no evidence of such an alien Muller ship, colony ship as I called it earlier. The aliens, or their ancestors, arrived long ago and have recently awakened from hibernation. 
or this is the theory number two, or they have been constructed somehow from raw materials. We currently have no explanation of how this might be possible. So the aliens or their ancestors. So this is what a theory that they've been there for a very long time. So either they came across in a ship like this a very long time ago and they used their ship to build the habs there. Maybe they deconstructed the ship, used it to build the habs that are there and they've been sitting there for a very long time in hibernation or just going generation by generation and they're just now making themselves known. Or maybe, and if this theory is true, they came from Earth and Mars or some other planet closer to the inner core of the solar system but they had a catastrophic event that long ago that is buried under the soil on Earth if it was from Earth or it was Mars so we've not had a chance to take a look down because uh, one of the things I was watching a very interesting I'm going off on a tangent a wee bit here but I think this is interesting it's nice to talk about I was watching a video from Kushigran I'm not 100% sure how you pronounce it, but they're a really, really good YouTube channel that use these really beautiful bird animations to explain science in a way that the common folk like me, the plebs like me, can understand. It is a great channel. Normally, I would not recommend YouTube as a place to like understand science and that sort of stuff because there's more fake than there is good, but I feel like the Kuzuga is an exception to the rule. So highly recommend them if you're interested in science and stuff like that. And their animations are beautiful. People that aren't interested in science often do enjoy them anyway. But anyway, they were talking about um, this theory of what if an advanced civilization had been on Earth prior to the dinosaurs and it has just been that long since then that we no longer have evidence of them. And it was talking about like if they had been a green type of society, like very... Uh, environment friendly it'd be almost impossible for us to see them in our what when we're looking down into the soil like we've got such a brief window that we can see like anything older than the dinosaurs is complete meh we have no idea it's complete guesswork there could have been like a full-blown intergalactic empire's capital buried before the dinosaurs and we'd be none the wiser and it was a really interesting video and I think that ties in with there too. There could have been, the, in this game, maybe these are the last survivors of such an empire that have been in cryosleep or something out in the extremities of our solar system, which is what theory number two it sort of ties into that. So maybe these aliens aren't aliens at all. Maybe they're just like the dinosaurs dinosaurs. It went off on a tangent, but I thought it was interesting, so I wanted to talk about it. Um, I feel like this is a good point for us to talk about. Now, theory number three. This is, like, I've not read it, but this whole, I love this report. It's very interesting to me. Um, the aliens have developed some means of faster than light transport, such as a, a never heard of it drive or a transversible wormhole. Well, his theory may seem fanciful, the possibility of long dormant aliens in the outermost regions of our solar systems seems equally unlikely. So basically, it's saying like the sci-fi style travel and like uh, the wormhole travel in Stargate or the faster than light drives and like other stuff or like the warp travel in Warhammer even though those are all sci-fi and fantasy like methods of travel that is saying that people an alien race surviving in the extremity of our solar system for a very long time is just as unlikely um, scientifically our understanding number one is the most feasible number two is extremely unlikely because the chances of it for surviving that length of time are questionable, especially without sending off signals, without with it just being dormant kind of thing, so to speak, for that length of time, not spreading. So like with one asteroid, they're hiding on, gets blown up by a collision or something like that, then they didn't have to hop to another one, all the source, it's just, yeah. And then this one, actually, it's saying that this is just as unlikely. Actually, I think I put a wee bit more weight on three than two from a scientific standpoint because as a science, it did come from a science fiction author. 
I can't remember which one off the top of my head, but there's a very good quote, and I think it actually ties in really well to science, even though it comes from a science fiction author, was the um, techno, I can't remember the exact quote off my head, but you'll probably know the one I'm on about. A technology of a sufficient level always seems like magic to those that don't have it. Um, it is a lot more eloquently put in the quote, I'm just sort of getting the point across that it's trying to make. And it always reminds me of the first time I've seen these special type of cookers, I can't remember what they're called, but they've got these uh, special hobs on the cookers that you can have it on, have it on the max temperature and put your hand on it, no heat whatsoever, doesn't cook, doesn't do anything, you put your hand on it, it's completely fine. You put a metal pot on it, cooks it as though it's a regular hob. Uh, even if it was like a gas fire underneath, just a simple flame hob um, cooker, it cooks it as efficiently as that. And I even seen what they did in the video is they cut a metal pot in half, put it down, broke an egg and put it on, the half that was on the metal plate started to cook with a wee bit overlap from heat radiating from the cooking half over, and then the side that wasn't on the metal plate was like still sitting raw. With art, with, apart from the wee bit overlap from the heat radiating from the cooking side to the non-cooking side. And I have no idea how that works. I know technologically they've worked out how to do it. But to me, that's magic. So that explains that quote perfectly. I know that quote to be true. I've seen it happen in real life from my standpoint. So free, I do put a wee bit more weight on free because, as I said, like technology we don't understand is magic they had the same sort of thing going on in the thor films didn't they when they were like oh the thors like oh they would have just thought they were gods they weren't gods they were just people with better technology than us and uh, better athletic skills than us but yeah right i think we've rambled on and talked about this enough but i just find that really interesting my apologies if you didn't find this section interesting i did so yes let's uh, close that and let's choose a new research Vision pile information, molten salt batteries. Like, see, I know slightly more than the average person about science. But I have no idea. Like, I'm looking at different types of batteries. And someone that knows a lot about science will probably be able to, like, oh, this one has more potential. I'm going to do this one. But to me, a battery is a battery. Like a salt water battery or a molten salt battery. To me, they're just both salt batteries. What's the difference between this molten salt? Well, molten salt is obviously liquefied salt from heat. Or, um, it's already a solid, so pressure won't do it, but that'd need to be insane pressure. But yeah, that's just hot salt turned into water, liquid, not water. And salt water. I would imagine molten salt because it's a lot easier just to add salt to water. So I would imagine molten salt batteries, if you're going to make molten salt, considering how easy it is to make salt water, there must be a benefit to it. So I would assume molten salt batteries are better? Oh, I suppose actually we can see the stats here. Mass, 80 tons. Uh, capacity, 40 gigajoules. Time to fully charge, 89 minutes. And build cost. So let's compare that to the salt water batteries. Mass, 20 tons. Capacity, 20 gigajoules. 33 minutes to fully charge. So the salt water batteries are a lot small, a lot lighter, but they only carry 20 gigajoules, whereas the molten salt batteries are a lot heavier, but they carry double. Would you not be more efficient to build? Yeah, because you could build two. Ah, but you might space. It might not just be weight, it might be space. If these take up space slots that you don't have, the molten one might come out on top because you don't space the number of slots kind of thing might be a finite resource and the molten salt batteries then excel from giving you 40 with one slot used. Whereas here you can have two of these and get the 40 gigajoules for half the weight. Which to me would mean salt water is superior unless there's finite slots. If it's like my space station where I've got those four slots, I feel like the molten salt is the way to go so I don't have to spend multiple on batteries. You know, I'm assuming that's the case. 
I've not done any spaceship design yet, but I want this. Get me that research. Batteries! Right, did we... Oh yeah, we're four. We're looking at direct investment. Oh well. I've spent too long yapping. Let's get time advancing. But yeah, I've quite liked this part because that was really interesting to talk about the origins of the space aliens. Or they might not even be aliens. They might just be our distant cousins. And... The scheme of things compared to like an actual alien, as in an outer space alien. Confirm assignments. China has an open control point. Yes, but we have next to no, we can't afford another control point. Alliance ends. Everyone's ending their alliance with Canada, I'm a wee bit worried about it. Like everyone seems to be gunning for Canada. Canada seems to be quite safe from the aliens though. Right, let's see now. Let's get our assignments done. No alien activity to investigate again. So again, let's just keep advising America. I will help them. That should At your service. hopefully turn this science score around, or at least hopefully stop it going down as much. So it should give America a busted stance, right? Public campaign start. Making our case. You public I campaign start. What is our Ready to yeah. go. Why are you down there? Oh yeah, because you were investigating that person, so they went down here. Good, if they're no longer there. I want you... We're fine there. I want you to come back here and protect everyone. On guard. Your orders? We do have the influence again. You're going to advise the space station. Offering counsel. Well, it should give us more science. We confirmed. We can now Offering continue. assistance. Prepping for next mission. Defending the VIP. Offering assistance. Okay. Oh, or booster. Pause. We have the booster I want. Right. Habs. Our Liam Pio. Space talk. We still don't. Oh, it's eighteen point six. I thought it was sixteen point eight. Okay. Right. Time back to advancing. We're not doing that yet. And this will be a part. I can see. New project available. We're now able to to take outpost mining complex project. Actually, if we can get a mine built up on our space moon. Building, base, place, plot. Um, I'll maybe do that before we build the dock, because then that might start getting us some of these resources. Which will then mean we might not need all that ore, but then we're really close to getting our... We're really close to getting our space dock! Which lets us build spaceships! Which one would be better for me to go for? First, resources or spaceships? We're gonna need resources to build the spaceships. The decision. Oh, this game does weird things to me. Hope oh, you have all enjoyed it. I shall see you all next time. Bye, -bye. bye.